in the second match versus Shikaporo, he's a really good Japanese player. Uh, but I don't know him a lot. I'm gonna start Barbro. Let's see what he has. Heal Spirit. Okay, it could be the Bridge Pim. Probably the Bridge Pim with Magic Archer. With Queen. In this matchup, I have to play really defensive. Now, yeah, I'm just gonna get a good poison here. Maybe eliminate the, the Archer Queen. I'll Nato here too. Everything to the poison, and the Baby Dragon is gonna get a splash on it. So it kills everything. And we got damage on the tower, so it was really good NATO. Now we wait for him. Okay, I think he has he has batter him. I'm just gonna ice waves here. And he has magic archer, so I have to be really prepared. I'll tombstone here. Okay. Out the bar bro. Not bad. Mm. Okay, he throws his spirit. He throws his bandit. So maybe he's gonna put a magic archer here. I have to nade it really fast. Okay, he did it. He's gonna queen right now. I'm not gonna poison or anything. Because I'm gonna be really low on elixir. So I'm gonna let that go. I'll defend it with maybe a nato. Or uh, Ice Swiss. No, Ice Swiss here already. I'm gonna nail Nato everything. I'm not gonna Tombstone. Because I'm gonna receive the Tombstone for the. Yeah, for the Battle Ram. But now I'm gonna use Valkyrie. It's gonna kill the Queen. And it's gonna kill the Battle Ram. I'm gonna get a good card attack. So I'm gonna go right now. And it's double elixir. So now I can attack. He defended well. The good thing that he doesn't have any big spell damage. So I could put a lot of troops in my side. And he can't do nothing. I'm gonna zoom some everything here. Pull the magic archer to my troops. Get the splash damage. Okay, my ice was here. Uh, I'm kind of poison, right? Oh, okay, fit or not. Tombstone here for the magic archer. Okay, it didn't kill it. it protected it really well. I'll activate here. Ice Rage just to put the queen. Valkyrie here. And the Barbro just to finish. Okay, he's spamming everything on the bridge. I have my tower activate. I'm gonna push the beam to the other side. Okay. It's gonna equal the damage on the both towers. Okay, you got more there. Okay. So I have to defend, 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 and try to find a good counter attack. So I'm gonna poison here just to get damage on the tower. Not to be really behind. Oh, tombstone here. Barber with baby dragon. nothing more so it's okay okay oh Valkyrie here I'm gonna make a combo we're gonna enter triple elixir so now I could good could go more graveyards I already poison here we're here right now for the ghost uh, tombstone so we're gonna go in now. He wasted a lot of elixir. I'm gonna just barber here with the ice waste. Okay. Got good damage. So now we're gonna just cycle poisons. If you magic archers or something. I have to pull everything really fast. Okay. So now we just have to to hold the game. Poison here, defensive to be safe. Walker here to the middle. Tombstone here. Ice Swiss here. And GG. It's a really tense matchup. I managed to do a really good combo in the the last last seconds. 
let's go to the third match. Uh, this guy seems to play Giant Graveyard. Yeah, he's playing Giant Graveyard. I don't know the version, maybe with Bowler Night Witch. Mostly, yeah, versus Giant Graveyard, we have a pretty, pretty decent matchup. Okay, I'm gonna cycle Baby Dragon. Let's see what he does. Okay, Sex Night Witch. I'm gonna prepare my defense already. Maybe he's gonna come with his giant. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna defend with poison. Be safe right now. I'm gonna NATO everything back. So I can kill the Night Witch. Good. So in this match, uh you don't need to keep defending the graveyards with poison. It's better so you can defend with troops because the troops are gonna give you a good counter attack. So in the next combos that he 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 makes, I'm gonna try to defend just with troops and keep the poison for the offense with my counter attack with the graveyard. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna cycle Barbara to force him to play something. If not, he's gonna take the damage. Okay, I'm a baby dragon here. Probably the Night Witch. Okay, Bowler. Uh, I'll Ice Wiz here in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna poison here. It's a really good poison. Getting the tower, the bowler, and the night witch. Okay. He doesn't have a lot of elixir for the graveyard. It's really good for us. Okay. Ice Wiz is okay, you're gonna die. If he bats, I have the Ice Wiz here. I'm already gonna Baby Dragon, try to predict the bats. Or something like that. Nice. And we're gonna go to the graveyard. Here's a really good counter attack. You defended and got a good counter attack. So I'm gonna NATO everything to the tower. So now my baby dragon is splashing the tower and the bowler. Now I stopped. I don't know why. Splash real. I'm gonna cycle Barbara and kill the bowler. Okay, now we play defensive. In a good counter attack, we could close the game. All baby dragon here in the back. He may be giant graveyard right now. Okay, he's gonna play safe too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a good poison here. I'm gonna NATO everything to the poison. If you graveyards, yeah, graveyards. So we just defend with troops here. We kill the Night Witch. Okay. Now we're gonna get a good counter attack. I'm gonna put my baby dragon in the graveyard. Okay, really, really good poison right now. So you don't need to keep your poison for the defense. Okay, nice, nice damage. I'm gonna NATO everything back and kill the troops too. Okay, a Valkyrie here. I'm gonna get a really good time, Barbaro, and the uh, Ice Swiss just to finish. Yeah, this is GG. Just grave right here. And a poison. So in this matchup, basically you have to play in the counter attacks. Okay, we can get it sour. Yeah, GG. So we we're gonna we're going versus an RG deck again. So RG depends of the version that the guy is using. But this guy was using a, a Zappies with I think it was a yeah, fireball. So it was a bit more, this is harder than the last one. I think he had mirror too, so it was not gonna be easy. The mirror is really stronger than meta. Here, I put a baby dragon. I didn't know his cards yet, so I was cycling cards in the back. If you don't know what to play, you could maybe cycle a tombstone. I think waiting on the opponent is not really nice with Splash Shard. You could play maybe a card like Ice Wizard or a Baby Dragon in the back. But you have to... I think Baby Dragon is not really a good play in the first first moments in the game. Because he can activate the tower. It's going to be really hard for the rest of the match. 
So right now I already use my ability to try to try to kill that skeleton king. He uses his ability too, so it was two two per two trade. Okay, fisherman is like just baby dragon. It's gonna counter. I'm just gonna I'm waiting on well he does. I'm not gonna advance any grave right yet. Because I know to, I don't know his deck. He can maybe have a Mother Witch. And right now, writing Skeleton King in the back is gonna get the the skeletons from my tombstone. He decided to go RG. You fire the ball. You fire ball here. I tornado everything back and just tombstone here. I don't know if I'm gonna go in right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go in because he uses his log. He uses a log again. I now I know now I know that he was using a mirror. He, right now I, I saw that he didn't have like any hunter or, or inferno dragon, so it's gonna be really hard to to kill my baby dragon. Right now I just tornado everything back. I think yeah, two scallies passed there, but it was not really a lot of damage. So in this matchup, I saw that the baby dragon was gonna was gonna be the key card to win this because he didn't have a lot of response so i need to protect a lot of my baby dragon and so right now he uses his fireball so that's open that that opens for my ice waves i already throw my ice waves right now and here i put my tombstone so the fisherman can go to my side and i could get a, get a good counter attack so I already grave right here. I have my poison ready. But first I use my ability. Then I use my poison. Yeah, I use my I got some damage on the tower. Kinda good could have gotten more, but it was good. Every time maybe dragon in the back is is a good play. Right now you came with our G. I nato everything and I tombstone just to stop the RG. I skeleton king here too. Hopefully it didn't get any hits. I thought it was gonna get at least one hit on the tower. Here he fireballs. I think that was a really bad fireball. I already Barbaro here in Graveyard. And he uses mirror again. I got some damage on the tower. And right now we were we were winning the match. I have to just be careful because he has fireball and mirror so that can win the matchup right now i do it again i use the tombstone to pull the fisherman to my side i could kill him more more easier right now i got two baby dragons in the field and yeah he didn't have nothing for the baby dragon so i got a lot of advantage to have the baby dragon he got some damage on the tower too and yeah that was game I think I get the tower. Yeah, I get the tower. And the baby dragon was the main difference in this matchup. Welcome to a new video, guys. Today's video, we're going to play a bit of splash right here on top ladder. We're about top 50. And splash right now is not really a really solid deck in the meta, but I like playing it. And it's a really skillful deck to play. You have to dominate really well. And in this current meta right now, we have a lot of... E Giant's the main card right now in the meta. There's a lot of uh, mortar decks, minor, hog rider too, drill decks too. And Splash Shard have, has a really good counter versus the drill versus the hog rider too. But versus the E Giant, it suffers a little bit because the E Giant right now is using with Mirror. And we just have the Tombstone for the, for the E Giant. So I have to play really well here the matches. And in this first match, we seems like a murder here. Okay, he's gonna use that ability there, but we have Virus Wizard. And the Tombstone is tanking all those skellies. It's tanking the murder. And some options here, if you don't have the, the Skelly King, you, you can use the, the Valkyrie or the Knight too. I think are the main cards. Because I know that not all people have the, the Skelly King the level max. And if you use Valkyrie to the Valkyrie, sometimes it's even better than the Skelly King in certain matchups. So I think the Valkyrie right now is the 
the best run in the middle. Knight is good too. But the Valkyrie is more, I think, consistent in certain matchups. And okay, we got some really good damage there with our with our graveyard with the Baby Dragon. And here in this matchup versus Murder, we're gonna have to play really defensive. Look at this tombstone here. I'm already gonna put this tombstone really early. So the murder can focus on the skellies. And my tombstone is is alive here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it everything. Look at the murder is where you're gonna die. And I don't know if I need to ice his. I'm gonna yeah. No, I didn't even ice his because I thought I was gonna die. We got received some hits on the tower, but no problem here. I'm really gonna attack because I know that he have doesn't have the queen cycle. So already put the baby dragon with graveyard. We're gonna get some good damage there. We need to first a, a far buff from him. Okay, we're gonna put my tombstone. I know he's gonna probably mortar. Yeah, mortar there. We're gonna tombstone here. Prepare because I know he's gonna throw the miner. Okay, nice. Throw the miner way in the back, so I'm really gonna activate here. Okay, here is really good poison. Now in this match, we're already we're just defending here because we're gonna have to. Uh, keep defending and find a really good uh good counter attack but we have to keep defending and price was it's probably gonna i don't know if we're gonna fireball here okay he didn't fireball he put that valkyrie and he's gonna put everything on the bridge the queen and the valkyrie it's gonna kill my baby dragon i have to poison here our defense in this match i don't know if this match is really for me because he has really good Options to keep pressuring he has the queen too. The queen is really difficult for me to kill. Okay, put that mortar there. I'm just gonna ice with here with, with my bar, bro. And nice. We got a really good cycle here. Now we just have to defend. Yeah, the miner. I have the skelly king. And now we're gonna uh, attack here on the left lane. I'm really gonna prepare baby dragon just to uh, make him probably use the queen here. Yeah, he's gonna use the queen, so I'm gonna ice with tornado everything. So it's gonna kill it really fast. And okay, so he was thinking I'm gonna go the grave on the right lane. And I'm already gonna go left lane. Nice. He put that one there in the back. Now he's gonna you have force to use a fireball. I'm already gonna poison. But look at all the damage there, we're gonna get a lot of damage. We're gonna get it to 2000, 1900. When he passed him on damage. Okay, nice. He's gonna mortar here on the offense. I'm just gonna ice was here to get the mortar. Baby dragon and graveyard to keep the pressure. I'm gonna tornado here too. So the baby dragon can get more damage on the tower. And nice. I'm gonna poison just to get more chip damage. And here, this is probably a good game. I'm gonna graveyard here again with the bar, bro. And he doesn't have logging cycle. I think he has it right now. Look, the graveyard is gonna get the tower. And a really nice game to start. And to comment there in the comment section if you're using Splash or if you're having any difficulties in the meta. Because for me, it's a bit difficult. And I'm going to try to bring some videos here using some Splash or too. And probably, I'm going to try to get top one. It's going to be a bit hard, but I'm going to try to get it. And here, we're going to use, we're going to go versus the, the drill deck. And this drill deck probably has the cannon cart. I don't know if he has magic archer too. Okay, no, so he's using another version. He's using the bomb tire with the magic archer and golden knight. It's a really good version that I... I this is the, the video that I posted yesterday. Or my last video. And this, this deck is really strong too in the meta. Okay, so he's gonna use that uh, golden knight. He's gonna drill too. I have to prepare here the defense. Okay, now he's gonna ice with here with our baby dragon. Okay, so the key in this matchup, we can't let him activate his tower. Because if you let him, it's gonna be really difficult to go, go with the graveyard. And you have to be really careful, yeah. Okay, the baby dragon is gonna get okay, two hits. And versus drill decks, we're gonna have to save our Skelly King for the drill. Or try to get a really good activation versus the drill too. Using the tornado when he throws the drill. Okay, I'm just gonna poison the magic arch. We're gonna play safer. And we're gonna start doing our attacks here on the double elixir. 
Okay, he puts that golden knight there. We're gonna put a Skelly King. I know that if he puts a drill, I don't have the Skelly King cycle. But I'm gonna try to activate the tower. If he puts it okay, yeah, he puts it in the in the the thing the spot that I can't activate. But no problem here the I suppose you're gonna he's gonna defend it. Look at that magic archer there. The Skelly King was getting the splash damage and it killed it really easy. And here I'm gonna really attack here because he wasted a lot of legs on the on the offense. We're gonna get some a lot of damage there. Go to 2700. And here I'm already gonna put my tombstones here in the back because it's gonna help really it's gonna help a lot versus the, the goblin Joe. Okay, it's gonna poison the magic archer. Just playing safer. I don't need to uh, really keep attacking. I could I put my troops in the back, uh, wait him wait him to attack, and just get a really good counter-attack after that. Okay, so here my baby dragon is advancing. I'm really gonna prepare my graveyard. Okay, here I'm already gonna, gonna activate the tower and bar bro just to uh, clean the, the goblin drill. Okay, so he puts that two bomb towers there. I'm gonna really attack again. And it's gonna put a bear bomb tower. I'm gonna poison here. Really good. No, I don't know why I didn't poison there. Should have poisoned. I'm just gonna tornado here just to the really magic arch can go to this side. I'm just gonna ice here just to complete the defense. Okay, so I'm just gonna tombstone here just to take the magic archer. Barbara here. And nice. He used that tornado there, but it wasn't really that good. And we could go attacking here again or starting the back too. I'm gonna prepare my baby dragon here in the back. And then ready. Uh, puts that goblin Joe. My cycle is not really good versus the goblin Joe. I'm just gonna use my ice wizard. And here the baby dragon is tanking. I'm gonna poison here with the grave vibe. And look at the damage there. It was first to use a tornado too. We got it to 1000. Nice. Now we need to just keep defending here really well. I'm gonna prepare a dragon. My skelly, skelly king here in the magic archer. And I already tornado to my tower because I knew that was gonna tornado too. And okay, he already cycled another. Cobbin Joe, I'm just gonna Barbaro here and use my ability on the Skelly King so he can. Okay, he's first to use a tornado there. And look at look at the Skelly King, he doesn't have the login cycle now, he has, but that Skelly King is gonna win the match for us right now. And this is a really, really nice game versus this Joe deck. Let's go for a second match here versus KK. KK is one of the best players in the world, he's a really good Japanese player. And I don't know, let's see what deck he's using. And he's fire spirit. Let's see here in the matchup if it's good or bad. Okay, so fire spirit log. It could be hog, it could be hoggies too. So I'm just gonna wait here. I'm not gonna uh try to be aggressive because I was really I think I was top three or two right now, so I wanted to put really pacific and not do like any overcommits. So, okay, so we're gonna go versus a Hoggy's Cycle deck. A Hoggy's Cycle deck, I don't really know who the matchup is here for. Because sometimes I see a uh, Splash Rider winning, sometimes I see the Hoggy's winning. But I think it's who plays better here, who gets a really good start. And okay, we didn't receive a lot of damage in the tower. Okay, so it's gonna come with the Hoggy's again. I'm already gonna activate the tower. So it's really important to activate the tower here. Especially in the first moments of the match and versus this Hoggy's deck, it's gonna be really important. The, the tower is gonna help. And here in this matchup, you can't like put Tombstone in the middle. He's gonna just Earthquake. You have to put, I'm gonna put a Tombstone like up high when he puts the Hoggy. So that's the best placement to defend it. When it puts the hog, I'm gonna already put that tombstone to the show. And you're just gonna poison here. You get some value of poison. And uh, Barbaro just to uh, finish that queen. Okay, he's probably gonna hog his here. I'm gonna put my tombstone up high. He's gonna probably hog his right now. Nice, got it. So I have to put the tombstone up high. And on the right or on the left. So the earthquake can get right on the tower and on the tombstone. 
Okay, so here I'm going to already counter attack the tornado here because I knew that he was going to put that early really live free. And at first I bleed it from him. And the baby dragon still got some damage, so this was a really good attack here. I'm going to put the tombstone here because I knew that he didn't have the earthquake, so uh, that tombstone there was a not really a big problem. And okay, I'm going to probably go on the left lane. Yeah, I'm going to go on the left lane. I'm probably not going to poison, I think. I'm going to just use the ability. So you could use more elixir with more elixir on defense. Okay, I'm gonna have to cycle here to our tombstone just to get those hoggies. And nice, you're not gonna receive any damage on the czar. I'm just gonna prepare poison for the for the queen. First ability from him. And okay, we're gonna have to uh, defend here and do really good counter attack. I'm gonna already prepare my ice wizard and my skelly king and my tombstone. Let's see, yeah, my tombstone too. And nice, we're gonna have a double lane attack. I'm really gonna, yeah, I'm gonna graveyard this lane because uh, I'm gonna try to attack same lane. Attacking same lane is gonna be really good for me because I wouldn't defend his attacks and already counter attack in the same lane. And nice, we passed on damage from him. Got a tornado here, Ice Wizard and Barbro. Really nice defense too. Okay, so use the earthquake, so I'm gonna already put my tombstone in the middle. So he's not gonna be able to attack the hoggies. He's gonna have to take another earthquake. Or log that. And here I'm gonna uh do a double lane pressure. I'm gonna poison that cannon, tornado that queen to the poison. This is a really good tornado here. Or prepare my tombstone in case he comes with the hoggies. And a barbro. Barbro? I didn't barbro. Okay. I'm just gonna poison here. I just need to defend here and probably go with one more graveyard. Yeah, put with the graveyard right now. I'm gonna put the baby dragon tanking. And I see we sell elixir here on defense. So we're gonna defend it easily. We have the ice wizard, we have the tombstone, Skelly King. And nice. And we're just gonna probably gonna graveyard here just to secure the match yeah, graveyard poison too and nice this is a really good uh demonstration to how to play this matchup too it was a bit difficult in the single elixir but in double elixir we got like a lot of troops in the field a graveyard poison and barbaro tanking and we got this matchup and this is the match that got me top one and this guy is like 200 trophies behind me so <laughs> if i lose this match i was gonna like fall like 40 45 trophies and i was gonna be really tilted so i try to concentrate uh the max here and we're gonna go versus a lava clone and versus lava clone i don't know who has the match up here too it's like i think this is a 50 50 or a bit for me i don't know because i have the poison i have like tornado a lot of good stuff versus him and here i'm already gonna put my souls here I'm gonna poison that flying machine look at the sour i'm already gonna get the sour there but i have to be careful here on the on his counter attack because i know that he has a lot of legs too he's gonna clone right now okay i'm gonna have to Tornado here activating the tower. We're gonna receive some damage. Well, we did a really good defense there. And like Barbro here just to clean those skellies. So, this was a really good trade for us. We got the tower and we have our tower here in 1000. So, here I'm gonna try to defend this tower. It's gonna be difficult. But I'm gonna try to defend here because I can't attack right now. I think if I attack right now, it's gonna not gonna be really good. So, I'm gonna try to. Uh, defend your then counter attack I'm gonna prepare my ice wizard i don't know if he has fireball yeah he has fireball so the ice wizard is not gonna do nothing gonna have to cycle baby dragon here a tombstone so the lava can't can't get the tower and yeah the baby dragon there is gonna be a bit annoying but i'm gonna just baby dragon here I'm gonna wait 
a little bit to throw my tornado and throw right now. Nice. Gonna probably ice wizard too. Very okay, nice. But he got some really good damage on that tower, unfortunately. I'm gonna poison here just because the flying machine bar bro. So that flying machine can stand the poison. And okay, here I'm already gonna win the fence here, but I know that he's gonna get my tower. But I'm just gonna defend just so we can't go to three three crowns. And yeah, I'm just gonna probably yeah, he's if I for, at least I first a far above from him. And here I was really aggressive. I went with the Scully King and the Graveyard. If I had tornado right now, I was gonna tornado those bats. But unfortunately my, my cycle didn't have a tornado. But no problem. We got some damage there, but not a lot. But now we have to be careful. And now we can't attack. We have to do a really good defense. I'm really gonna pre prepare my ice wizard. I'm gonna try, try this like to another ice wizard. He's gonna probably fireball it. Yeah, he's gonna fireball the ice wizard and he misses, so this is really good for us. And I already have I'm gonna just bar bro. And I'm already gonna have another ice wizard here. And he doesn't have the the fireball in the cycle, so it's really good for us. I'm gonna poison here the flying machine. Every time the flying machine you have to poison this flying machine is a really dangerous card here versus our deck. So every time when you see a flying machine, try to poison, try to kill it really fast. And here he's gonna try to f do his combo. I'm gonna play really defensive here. Put my ice wizard, put my Skelly King, my tombstone, and my tornado here prepared too. Oh, uh, here really good to poison, gang the flying machine, the baby dragon. And he's gonna put another lava here on the bridge. And I got that tombstone here. I have my ice wizard helping when tornado everything to the splash troops. And Scarlet King here. I have another ice wizard. He doesn't have fireball. I have, I have to try to, I think, poison here in defense. Let's see. No, I'm not gonna poison yet. I'm just gonna use my baby dragon. 30 seconds on the clock, so we have to do, I think, a last graveyard push. I'm gonna do it right now. With the Scully King, Tornado, everything. Nice. I'm gonna poison here too. Look at the damage on the tower. We're gonna get it to 900, 800 a bit. And now we need to defend here. 13 seconds. 10 seconds here. By the Ice Wizard, we have the poison. And after this, I was really happy with the top one. And these were not some easy matchups. We play really well here in these matches of today so right now we're 17 slash one three steps away from the from 20 wins and our starting hand here i'm just gonna start cycling here a barbell on this tower let's see what's that he's using okay so tombstone two it could probably be another lava deck it could be my my splash right here too i think lava graveyard or electro giant but no nah, not electro giant electro giant Thank God it's not in liking the meta a lot right now. It disappeared from the meta. I think there's a lot of decks countering it right now. But this, he's using Golem. So versus Golem decks, we have a really good matchup here. I'm already going to put my Skeleton King here in the back on the left because I'm going to get a lot of souls there. And I'm already going to force him to defend. Let him use my ability here. So he's first to use the Night Witch and that Baby Dragon on the left. And I'm just going to defend it with Tombstone. I have my Barbaro here too. And the Ice Wizard here for the Baby Dragon. So I think versus Golem decks, you have to play really aggressive. He doesn't have really good options for your, for your Graveyard. Yeah, the, the best option is a Skeleton King. But look at this activation here. Didn't get it. It's really good for us right now. And here we're already going to attack... And I'm gonna already attack it because the Ice Wizard is freezing the tower. So the tower is gonna uh, be be more slow on the on the skeletons. And here I'm just gonna, already gonna skeleton king here in the back. And look at all the damage that we got there. We got it to 1200. And right now we just need to defend. Just start putting here our troops in the back of the tower. He's probably gonna go right now after this, this defense here. And we're gonna put my tombstone. And yeah, double elixir right now is gonna probably golem. 
And right now we have to do defense. I'm really gonna cycle my tombstone first, then my skelly king. Right now here in the back, it's gonna gather some skellies in the tombstone, so it's gonna be really good. And it decides to lightning here, but I'm really gonna cycle to another tombstone. First, I'm gonna pop the skelly ability here, and I'm gonna poison that light witch, getting the tower too. We didn't even need to cycle to another tombstone here. Just the skelly king with the tornado. Resolved it. I think I didn't even need that tornado here. And I think I'm not gonna attack yet because he's gonna try to I think attack here. I don't know. Yeah, golem with the bridge. But here he's gonna poison getting the skelly king getting the golem. He decides to lightning, but I already have another tombstone here. I'm gonna put another ice wizard. He tornadoes everything, but we do have a we have a lot of elixir and we're gonna get a lot of troops here from the from the counter attack and here i'm probably gonna go graveyard I'm gonna use the ability first then i'm gonna graveyard right now and i'm gonna put my poison there now first i'm gonna tornado everything to the tower look at the splash damage getting right now it was first use a lot of elixir there right now we're in really a good situation we just need to keep cycling our troops here in the back again uh, Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon. He's gonna lighting that, but that wasn't a really good lighting. That was a bit of a commit. Grave right here with Barbaro tanking, poisoning the tombstone. And this is GG2. So that was the second game. And let's go to the next one. So let's go to the next match here. And we're gonna go versus another hard counter. So versus Lava decks. So if you guys don't know how to play versus Lava decks, we're gonna play versus a Lava Loon now. It's a match that if you do like one mistake, if you put a card here and it doesn't do nothing, you couldn't probably lose the match. Okay, so he's gonna start here with lava, and I'm already gonna put my Skelly King on the left because he's gonna have to, he's gonna be forced to defend that Skelly King. And here I'm just gonna prepare my baby dragon. Let's see, I think he's gonna put a mega minion here. Yeah, he's gonna put the mega minion. I tried a barber here just to get the attention but didn't really work we're just gonna ice wizard and the baby dragon is doing the splash so really good first defense here and he didn't have the elixir for the for the balloon and the mighty miner i was gonna use the ability of the skelly king but the mighty miner was already gonna gonna kill it okay so it's gonna skelly dragons here okay so right now i knew that i didn't have skelly dragons in mega minion cycle so the baby dragon was with graveyard was like a free damage right now if he had like mega minion cycle i was not gonna attack like this but look at that we got really good damage there we got it to the 2200 and right now we're just gonna focus on defense he wasted a fireball yeah i think he wasted a fireball there i don't remember but i think he wasted it he have opened the dice whiz and right now i'm just gonna start here in the back again He's probably gonna lava here, or he's gonna mighty minor. Okay, he's gonna mighty minor. I think I'm gonna go in again. I think first I'm gonna use the ability just to kill that mighty minor. He's gonna sky dragons here, but I'm not gonna use my poison. I'm just gonna defend with troops. It's better because he's gonna be forced to, to defend the size wizard. And if I just put the spell, the spell is gonna kill it, and we're not gonna have like any counter attack. And here I'm gonna go attacking. This is a bit aggressive, but I think we need to do this right now to get some damage there. And I already poisoned that tombstone, and he's gonna probably go with balloon here. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna sky dragons first. I'm gonna ice wizard here, getting all the all the sky dragons. And okay, so here I'm gonna. It's gonna be a bit difficult defense. I have to really do a really good tornado, and do a really good poison here. That's a bar bro too because that mighty miner is there in the in the back. Ice wizard here. Okay, at least we defended it here. But that attack that we made there was a I think a bit aggressive. But here is here is gonna lock down the tombstone. We don't have poison cycle. Okay, so he's gonna balloon here. I'm just gonna scatter king just to pressure him. He's gonna mega minion. Here I'm just gonna act with the tower. It's gonna help. I think it's, it's, it's I think it's too late, but it's gonna help a bit. Here I'm just gonna poison Graveyard and he's gonna he's gonna start to cycle fireball. 
in here. I have to pray for the graveyard to get some damage. And have the mighty managed to come to the tower. Tornado, and we got the match. So this match was really close to another hard counter for the video. And this guy usually uses Sparky Bay deck or Giant Double Prince. In this game, he's using the Giant Double Prince, but he's using a different version here. He uses Mega Minion and the Minions with Theros and Zap, and he doesn't use it with Miners, so a bit different version. Here, I'm just gonna Baby Dragon, Tornado, everything. I hope he's not gonna get the Tower. Okay, but he's apps there and he got the tower. Versus this match here versus Giant Double Prince. I think if the guy doesn't have Fireball, we have a good chance to win. But if the guy has Fireball, it's a bit hard. But I no, I think with the tombstone, the tombstone helps me a lot versus the giant with the skeleton king too. So I think it's 50-50 or a bit for me. But it depends how he plays here. Because if he plays really defensive, I get like a really good advantage. But if he like pressures a lot, it's better for him. Because he has to pressure a lot in the stack here versus splash shirt. And I think my graveyard, I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to use it like in double elixir. Because if I use it in single elixir, he's going to just defend it easily with uh, minions. He has... Uh, Dark Prince too, so he's gonna defend really easily and do a counter attack So I'm just gonna defend here in single elixir defend defend defense and Double elixir do a graveyard attack with baby dragon or skelly king Getting my souls from a tombstone too is really important Okay, I'm just gonna put my tombstone here prepare for the defense and now we're gonna enter double elixir so we're gonna have to uh, defend first his combo, then we're gonna counter attack with the skeleton king, baby dragon, ice wizard, gray red with the poison. And now I'm gonna put my skeleton king here at the back, gather some souls there from the from the tombstone. And I could put my ice wizard here in the back. I'm not gonna even like get a fireball, he doesn't have minor. Oh, he has fireball. Okay, so using fireball with uh zap. I thought I was using arrows and no, using fireball zap and arrows, so a bit strange combination. Yeah, okay, I was first to use the ice wizard there, unfortunately. Yeah, and uh, this is a really strange combination, but okay, he's using fireball too. I'm just gonna put my skeleton king here on the left, just get the souls and try to do attack here. Put my baby dragon here, and I'm gonna probably go in right now. Because he wasted that giant there, and that giant wasn't that good. Okay, I'm not gonna go in. He's gonna probably minions there. I'm gonna prepare a tornado. Yeah, I'm gonna tornado everything just to get the splash damage. Another baby dragon here. I'm gonna put another tombstone too. And right now, I'm probably gonna go in after this defense. Not yet. I'm gonna ice wizard here first. And good that he doesn't have the fireball in cycle, so it's gonna be really good for us now. I'm gonna grave right here with the barbell tanking, poison that, that minions with the dark prince. And now we're gonna get really good damage. And we're gonna put my Scotty King here in the back. And I already got some good souls from the from my grave right. And here we're always attacking, so really good rotation for us right now. I'm gonna use my ability here. Put my baby dragon here in the back. And we're gonna start another combo. Put my Barbara here just to call the attention of the Dark Prince. Ice Wizard here. Then Tornado everything back just to keep that baby dragon alive. Right now we have two baby dragons and right now I'm gonna go Graveyard. He wasted that Fireball there too so really good opportunity now to get some really good damage. Tombstone here. The, look at the Graveyard Poison. And I'm really gonna put another Skeleton King and force to use another Zap. And right now our rotation is really good. I'm gonna keep like attacking. He's already BMing because he's gonna lose. I'm gonna use my skeleton king ability here. And here we're gonna poison and graveyard. Tornado everything there. This is the poison. Look at the baby dragon getting some splash damage. And this is game. In so this video here, we're gonna play with this new splash shard deck. It's a bit different version than the normal one. It's with the bomb tower knight instead of the Valkyrie and tombstone or skeleton tombstone 
It's working really well for me. Let's see if it's gonna be meta. But in our first match here, we're gonna go versus an Expo. So we're gonna go versus a harder counter here. The Expo is one of the hardest decks to beat with Splash Shard. And even more this version with Archers. But I think with Bomb Tower, we have a bit, uh, not advantage, but we have better tools to, to get the Expo. I think if it was with Tombstone, it's gonna be a bit more harder. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give a like here just to support the channel and to go more faster. And about this matchup here, you can't graveyard in single elixir because you're gonna be over committing a lot. If you graveyard in, in single elixir, you're gonna probably lose the game. You're gonna probably expo the other lane and you're not gonna have elixir defend. Okay, but here he came with uh, expo and I didn't have the poison cycle and he put the ice golem there. Okay, so he's using Ice Golem instead of Knight. I don't know if it's that better for us or it's worse. But here, we received a bit of damage on the tower. We got a little bit of damage there, but we received a lot of damage during the start. But right now, I can't Graver. I'm not going to Graver it because he's going to defend it easily. And I have to keep poisoning the Expo. Or using the Bomb Tower to defend it too can work. The Knight tanking. The Ice Wizard killing the Expo, but general just try to poison the Expo and use the Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna do right now. I'm not gonna uh, poison. I want to defend the troops right now. I'm gonna use the Bomb Tower, Baby Dragon. Try to make a counter attack. I know that he's using a lot of legs on the defense. So right now he still has to defend this Baby Dragon. He's gonna waste more legs here. Okay, at least he wasted a Tesla. And I think in this match, you have to go the same lane as Expo. But it's a bit hard going same lane because he's going to try to keep changing the, changing the lanes every time. It's going to be a bit difficult. But here, we're only going to go with the Graveyard because he cycled the Archers there. So he doesn't have Archers in Cycle. He has to Cycle again right now. And now he's going to take that damage there. We're going to get a lot of damage. We got it to 2,200. And here he's gonna put my bomb tower. So bomb tower is really useful. He has to waste our elixir just to get the bomb tower out. And here I'm gonna grieve for it again because he's not gonna be able to expo because Ice Wizard is there on the right lane. And we we're gonna get a bit of damage. Nice, we got it to 1,900. Now he's gonna prop expo. I'm gonna already bomb tower here. Okay, expo defensive now. I don't understand this play here because it's, it's, a, it's a free poison there. Anyway, I tornado that, that ice spirit. We got two hits with the baby dragon. It's a really good rate for us right now. And we're just going to play defensive. I'm just going to poison, put that bomb tower there on my side so that the expo can lock the bomb tower. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going to just barbo just to finish that, that expo. We look really good here. We don't even need to attack anymore if you want. We could like still defend, secure our defense, put a bomb tower here, poison the expo every time. Okay, I'm gonna poison here. I'm gonna barbro that Tesla so the poison can get that Tesla too. Ice Wizard here is probably gonna expo right now. Look at the baby dragon, got one more hit and he gave up here. So I think bomb tower it changes a lot this match here it looked a bit easier than using with tombstone and with the valkyrie the knight so the knight cycles a bit more faster the deck so let's go to the next one in this video i'm gonna go over my matches and right now i'm probably top 30 or something near that and i'm using this splash shard splash shard deck that that it's really stronger than meta with uh Scouts and king and our first match is versus Muhammad Light. He's probably the best player in the world right now. And he's using the log bait that is really common in the meta. He's using the Mighty Miner with Princesses and Cannon. And this matchup, I think it's even. But if I play well, I think I could. I think it's easier for me than for him so right now he already pressured we were with the fire spirit i didn't put nothing because 
I was going to be reading this this adventure of Elixir. I already prepared here the Ice Wizard on the bridge if he kills the princess. I tried to predict it. But I didn't play nothing. Here, I'm already going to activate my King Tower. I got some damage, but the King Tower is activated. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help a lot. And so versus this this log bait attack, I'm gonna defend in the single elixir and double elixir. I'm gonna start doing my counter attacks, my graveyard pushes. I'm gonna have really a, a, a lot of elixir. So right now he was in scanning that it's his main counter for the graveyard. I already attacked with the baby dragon graveyard, and here he. He did a good Goblin Barrel. He, I missed the Bar Barrel on the defense. He used a Mighty Minor ability. I already was with the Ice Wizard in my hand. And now we entered the Belixir. Now we're, it's going to be really, really better for us. We're going to do a lot of combos. Alright, prepare my Tombstone here. So he can't put the Princess at the bridge. He has to put it in the back. I already started my combo with the Skeleton King in the back. It's going to get the Skeletons from my Tombstone. He started rocking the tower here. I think this rocket was really good. Because now I have my Skeleton King, my Swayze, and my Baby Dragon open on the on the offense. Now I'm going to put my Grave right here in the Poison. He wasted his log. So now we're going to get a lot of damage. And the Ice Swayze is really... It's alive. It's gonna get it's freezing the tower there. And the baby dragon got a lot of damage. So right now we were really good on the match. We just needed to do maybe one more combo and defend the the goblin murals. Here he did it in the left side and he started cycling another rocket. He needed to cycle I think three more rockets, so we didn't need to really pressure right now a lot. I think this combo, I'm probably going to get the tower or going to probably get it to low health. Here, I'm going to put my graveyard. Yeah, I'm going to put my graveyard here. The poison to kill the skeletons and the cannon. You got my Barbarella cycle. I got. I didn't get a really good tornado there, but I got the two goblins. Now we just need to cycle to the poison. I'm going to cycle the rocket here. He's not able to gonna cycle one more rocket. I already have my poison here. Poison, I have tornado. Tornado right now. In a good game. Welcome to the video, guys. In today's video here, we're gonna be playing a bit of Spy Shard. In this current meta, it's a deck that got a bit nerfed because a lot of other counter decks got in the meta. Like the Giant Skeleton, Mother Witch, and the, with the Hoggies. That deck is really reading the meta and it's a really hard counter for splash shard but it's not you can win too it's not really really impossible and we're gonna go versus it in this first match so i'm gonna go over here and try to give the best tips here for splash shard and some people are using mighty miner for your for skeleton king i think it's a really good option too but i don't have it max so it doesn't it's not really good for me to use it. I already tested in ladder level 13, but you gotta like already do this advantage of level level 13. But Mighty Miner is a good option too if you have it. If you have it upgraded, it's a really good option to use. And here, as you guys see, he's gonna come with the giant skeleton uh, ghost combo here. I already defended with my Skelly King and Baby Dragon. I was tempting to go Graveyard. But I think it was gonna be a bit overcome it because he had the Mother Witch, he could like mirror the Mother Witch. But here in this match, we're gonna have to play really defensive. He has really good options for my graveyard, so I think we're just gonna probably use the graveyard and triple elixir and just defend, defend, put uh, tombstones, uh, ice wizards here in the back, skeleton king, and be careful for the fisherman too because the fisherman is gonna be. A really annoying card he's gonna push like all our troops but the good thing that he doesn't have a big spell so he just has zeros so a bit better for us if we had like earthquake or fireball it's gonna be a bit worse but at least it's just zeros 
I'm here when I use my skeleton skeleton can ability. I'm gonna stick with that the giant skelly. And here I'm gonna go graveyard because I know he's gonna mother with shear. I'm just gonna poison. And we're gonna kill all the, the hoggies with the poison. Look at the baby dragon get into the tower. So this graveyard wasn't uh, that bad because I knew that I was gonna just poison the mother witch and he was not gonna get a lot of counter attack. He's gonna get a bit of counter attack here, but I think we can defend it here. I'm gonna baby dragon here to get the hoggies, bar bro, everything. Giant skeleton got to the tower, but we need tornado everything. And the skeleton king is gonna kill the ghost in the left lane. And here I'm not gonna go. I think I'm gonna play really, really defensive. And look at this position of the tombstone. I'm gonna put it a bit more lower than the usual. Yeah, because it's, it was gonna mother witch. I mean, mother witch is now not gonna get all the skellies. It's gonna get some skellies, but not all right now. Nice, it died. He's gonna arrows. I'm just gonna skelly king here and tornado that mother witch. It should kill him more faster. Tornado here for its splash damage. Okay, nice. It died. And here, put my tombstone. Tombstone is a really good card to defend the hoggies. We have to be careful because the mother witch snipes the tombstone really, really easy. So I guess it's a lot of value for the hoggies. But here in this moment of the match, I think we have to keep defending and do a last graveyard combo because it's not easy to pass there. He has Mother Witch, he has Mirror too. So he's gonna come to Giant Skeleton in the bridge, he's gonna tornado everything, getting the splash damage. I'm gonna Barbaro just to kill that, that Mother Witch. So he arrows, I think he did a bit overcommit here. I think we could go attacking probably. I'm gonna go the other lane because he's gonna waste elixir in the right lane. And now I'm just gonna poison here the mother witch. And then nice, the baby dragon got to the tower. I'm gonna go at a lot of damage and really pass him. Okay, sorry now I'm not gonna throw any more graveyard in here the match because we already got the damage that we wanted. And because he's gonna mirror the giant skelly, he's gonna divide his troops. I'm gonna put my poison on the mother witch. And the zap is too, getting everything there. Okay, so he came to the left side. Have the tombstone here again. Prepare a tornado everything for them to the middle. Ice race here to defend all. And right now he just he's just spamming the bridge here. I'm gonna Barbara here. He's gonna get the mother witch. I have to be careful here because he's probably gonna hug his when the tombstone here. But unfortunately, a popped from the bomb of the giant skelly and here's gonna mirror the hoggies this is a bit dangerous but it's good that the splash damage with the ice wizard got the hoggies and just gonna poison their tornado and this is a really really hard matchup that we won hello guys wallace here and today we're gonna go over the new splash artifact in the meta after the balance changes the mother witch got buffed dr giant 2 and the mother witch is one of the main counters for the for the graveyard. So this new version is is, is with fireball instead of poison, because the mother witch is gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be in I think key giant decks for a giant and many others. And I'm bringing the Valkyrie. You could put the skeleton king too, but I think Valkyrie is more consistent in the meta versus the rest of the matchups. And the tombstone too. The tombstone is. It's still good. Did I think I didn't even receive any nerf? So the tombstone is a really good card too to main to maintain in the deck. The goblin cage could be an option too, but let's see how the meta is gonna shift. Because today is the first game of the meta. I'm, I'm testing some some cards, some new interactions too. And the Barbara was another card that got nerfed. Now it doesn't. When you throw it at the bridge, it doesn't get like two two hits on the tower, like before. And it's more weaker. I don't remember what's the what happened to the Barbara, but it's now it's more weaker. And yeah, I'm gonna push some ladder matches in the in the first day of the season here. We're gonna test the special deck, and we I think this is a Pekka Rim Rider. And let's see. I think. Yeah, that got to the tower. Here I'm gonna already attack the left lane because that's to defend both both lanes right now. 
And he's probably not going to have a lot of elixir because he wasted that bar bro there on the right lane. And look at that baby dragon. Just getting the tower. I'm going to put my eyes with here. And Sp Splash Shard is not, is not dead. But a lot of the cards got nerfed. But I think it's still usable. Let's see during the meta how how it's going to be. Because maybe I can maybe change some cards. I don't know if Cage is going to be better or Tombstone too. But the Fireball, I think Fireball is going to be the main spell for the Splash Shard. Because of the Mother Witch. Because the Mother Witch is going to be everywhere in the meta. So this Fireball has to be in your deck. I think Poison is not going to be really good in this meta for... For the splash shard so fireball is like more secure versus the mother witch and it's a secure counter versus her and coming back to the game here we're gonna do a grave rider combo with valkyrie's tanking with the baby dragon you fireball that but we're gonna get a lot of damage we're gonna get it to 900 and just we need to like do one more combo zephan is rim rider we have the tombstone you have the I have the fireball too. Okay, he came with the other lane just spamming. Just come up with my barbarian here, the Valkyrie. And the fireball is going to help too instead of the poison. It could help like in certain matchups like fireball bait decks. A lot of matches too. Let's go to our third match here. In versus Alvaro CR. Let's see what he's playing there. And I think this version of Splash are thinking here. Uh... Maybe you could use a cage instead of the tombstone with the, with the knight. It could be a good option too, because I remember this deck with the knight in cage. It works really well. I think I got one of my best top with splash shard with this deck, using the cage and knight. So I, I'm gonna test that too. It's a really good option to test too. But right now Valkyrie with tombstone, I think it's like one of the best right now, versions, and probably skeleton skeleton king too. But I know that many people don't have Skeleton King, so Valkyrie is a really good option too. Sometimes even better than the Skeleton King. Okay, where's his Alvaro? He looks like he's using a Balloon deck. Yeah, Balloon already put his Balloon there. I'm gonna put my Ice Swiss here. And the Barbro. I'm already gonna activate my Tower there. Good activation. Every time is good activating when you can. And even better versus balloon decks. So if he comes with the balloon, just put your tombstone in the middle. And push the tornado into the king tower. Okay, we're gonna... Let's see what he's gonna do. I'm gonna baby dragon here. And versus this deck of balloon splash shard freeze. You have to like attack when he... Uses like Bowler, the Infernal Dragon too. The Infernal Dragon is really good to to kill your tanks. So when you use it, like in the in the back, you go the other lane attacking. Sorry, now I think we're gonna go attacking here. Let's see. I'm just gonna Barbaro here. But if I went to attack the left lane, I think it was a really bad idea. He's probably gonna come here. I'm gonna prepare my. Tombstone, my Ice Wizard here. Tornado everything here. My Baby Dragon and Ice Wizard cleaning everything. I'm gonna go maybe left lane. Yeah, I'm gonna go left lane. And this was a good attack here because he used the Infernal Dragon. That I said that it's like the best tank killer. It could have took the Valkyrie there. And look at that damage there. And I forced to freeze on him. So this is a really good attack. I use my ice wings here, my baby dragon too for the defense. Valkyrie here. I'm really gonna go attack here because I really have a lot of troops in board. I'm gonna tornado everything to the tower. Look at this splash. The splash was really good right now. I could have fireballed there. But maybe it could have be overcome it because he could have come with balloon there. Yeah, he's gonna come with balloon probably. No, just tornado. And baby dragon here. He freezes here, but this freeze wasn't really good. I added my Valkyrie there to destroy everything. So we're really looking good in this match. 
But this deck, this balloon deck, in one combo, you could, like, lose the match. So I have to be really careful. He cycles in Fertile Dragon in the back. I'm just going to cycle my troops, too. I'm going to put, like... He came with the balloon lumberjack. I miss here the balloon with the tombstone. I have to tornado it back and probably use my fireball here. Yeah, I use my, use my fireball. And the balloon got one hit, unfortunately. Okay, you're gonna enter the elixir. So here he's gonna like get a lot of troop on his field and try to do a big combo. And I don't have poison, so I can't, like, poison all his troops. I have to get a really good fireball. Okay, I decided to attack because he was gonna... He was doing, like, a really good combo. A really big combo in the left lane. So I already attacked just to pressure. Look at this fireball. This fireball was really bad. I think yeah, he's gonna freeze here, too. I'm gonna use my ice whiz here. My tombstone. My bar, bro. And I just need to... Hold this push. I'm gonna turn everything back. Ice Wiz here. 10 seconds. And look at this Ice Wiz. Look at this fireball, man. I choked so much here. I was already counting as a victory this match, but like in this matchup, in this, this deck, Balloon Freeze deck, is one combo, one push against the Sour. So unfortunately, I lose that. Let's go to the second match versus. Death King. Let's see what it has. That's in the emoji to him too. <laughs> a bomber. It could be a E giant or it's probably E giant or a golem. So in this matchup, uh, I'm gonna wait what he does, what he plays. Okay, yeah, it's golem. I don't need to rush. I'm gonna cycle Barber here. Okay, yes, baby dragon. I'm gonna nato everything to my to my lane so my tower can kill him more faster. My baby is has a bit of life still, so I have to waste something. Okay, he uses the Dark Prince. It's Golem Dark Prince. I think it's Golem. It could be E Giant too. I'm gonna cycle my my tombstone here. Mm. Put my ice whisk. If he baby dragons, I'll probably go. In. I'm gonna go in. He doesn't have his mega minion. That's the uh, best counter for my baby dragon. So I'm gonna go in. Okay, so it's Z giant. I'm gonna get some good damage at the tower. And the E-Giants is with, uh, not with a lot of health. I'm going to poison everything here. It's probably going to kill it. Nice. I'm going to get the Bomber too. But probably, yeah, I'm going to dash in the tower. I'll tap Barber, Barber here. It's okay. It could have be worse. So now we know that's E-Giant. But he has Mega Minion. Mega Minion is gonna be hard okay I'm gonna protect my tombstone nice I'm gonna go in right now he uses a elixir so this is a good attack I think so I'm gonna lose this tower yeah he's gonna lose this tower and if I do a good defense here it's gonna be really good um, I'm gonna nato everything to the tombstone but I think this is Almost impossible to defend. I'm gonna put my ice whiz here. Yeah, he's gonna get the tower. He's forcing a lot in the red lane. I have my baby dragon here. I'll put my barber to kill the bomber. Okay. It's good that we got a lot of damage in the in the left tower. It's not that bad. Okay, now we have to keep cycling troops behind our towers and try to get a good counter attack it's gonna be hard but i'm gonna try to get a bomber here oh he didn't play 
Oh, baby dragon here in the back. Poison here. So, you get the mega minion in the baby dragon. You just got the mega minion, but no problem. He giants in the back. Okay. Oh, Valkyrie here. To the e giant. Oh, Barbara the bomber to kill it fast. Okay. I'm gonna I'm not gonna use my tombstone here. Because I know that he's gonna cycle another e giant, so I need the tombstone for the other e giant. Okay, it was a good defense. I'm gonna put a tombstone here just to protect. Okay. He's probably gonna I'm gonna poison here. I need to get some danger on the tower. Oh Lock right here. Barbara to kill the bomber. Another baby dragon here. Ice Swiss. I'm gonna tombstone here. I have to get a good attack. I think I'm gonna go do it now. Graveyard with Valkyrie. I'm gonna get some good damage. Nice, nice. Valkyrie is tanking. I'll put my tombstone here. So text 10 seconds, so just defend right now. NATO back. Barbro NATO. So this was a <laughs> this was a really hard matchup. I don't know how you managed to defend it and win this game. Let's go to the match here that got me top four. And this guy was really high too. So who wins this matchup was gonna probably get a really good top there in the ladder. And this guy is a really good player of three musketeers. And this three musketeers deck is really really strong right now in the meta. And I don't even know if I have a really good matchup with three musketeers. Because he has the mirror to the mirrors of the a game changing card right now versus my deck. Because he can mirror the three musketeers, he can mirror the collector, he can mirror like anything. And he can get like my cycle really already off and it's not really really good for us but here we already started with the three musketeers on the bridge i had to defend it without poison because i have to leave my poison for the elixir collector or for three musketeers in the back that's what he's gonna do right now okay so he's gonna start with the with the ghost there in the back i don't know if i'm gonna go attacking her in single elixir Sometimes it's good. I think right now is a really good option to go attacking. I'm gonna go Scully King with Graveyard. Okay, so he's gonna take it with uh with the Libra Burns. He doesn't have a lot of licks right now for the for the graveyard. I'm already gonna take it put that Barbro just to advance the this attack here. And okay, we're gonna get some damage there. He was forced to use the, the mirror zap. And we got it to 1,900. It's not bad. But right now, I have to be careful because I'm going to probably put another Elixir Collector. And in double Elixir, he's going to spam everything here in the bridge. Uh, use the mirror on the three Musketeers, probably. And we have to play with defensive here. And we're not going to attack right now. We're going to first defend and counterattack. Okay, but here he decides to go with the Elixir Collector. And I think I'm gonna attack here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it everything first to my splash troops. I hope my splash troops kill those musketeers. And it didn't kill it, but we're gonna have to do a really good defense right now. I'm gonna put my baby dragon, tombstone. I think Scully King. I don't know. If, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use it here. Only barbarians. So look, he's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna keep spamming here the bridge. And we're in a really bad cycle. But right now we're gonna already activate the tower. He's spamming a lot on the bridge. And I just defended it with the light wizard and I already activated the tower here. So this is really good for us. And here I'm just gonna poison these collectors. I know that he has three musketeers. But we're gonna already cycle another poison. Put that barber just to probably get one hit i oh, didn't get one hit oh, yeah, i'm gonna cycle to poison right now but i think yeah i'm not even gonna use my poison here in these musketeers i'm gonna use it on the marina musketeers 
it's not gonna uh clip completely but we're just gonna finish it with the barbell and you have to prepare our defense here put our our tombstone here baby dragon i'm gonna put my switch here first my scotty king here nice he puts that zap there the scotty king is taking the golden knight and that that ghost so here i went attacking this is just a really risky play but I knew that he had really low elixir, so I went when he tried to attack her. Look at the tower. We're gonna get it to 270, so we just have to poison there. And luckily, we got it to poison tornado damage. Cycle to a tornado here. Oh, so I poison already took it off. I didn't even know that. Well, nice. This is a the match that got me the top four in the world. Let's go to our second match here versus Zeki. And this guy usually plays a sparky giant deck with mini P.E.K.K.A and Mega Minion and the Tornado. And versus this deck, I think we have a really, a really good solid matchup here. And versus giant sparky decks, we're not gonna try to go really aggressive for the single elixir. Because if you go really aggressive, you're gonna try to probably trade towers. And it's gonna be really, not really good for us. The best way to play, I think, this matchup is playing defensive, cycling your troops here in the back. And waiting, defending till the bow elixir. And that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. He puts that giant there in the back, so I'm really gonna put my Scully King. And the Scully King is getting all those souls there from the tombstone. So if he puts that a mini pack or something like that, I'm gonna already use the ability there. I'm gonna use it right now. I got all those souls on the Scully King. And I'm just gonna barber over here, this Sparky, this giant too. And he puts that mini P.E.K.K.A too. I hope that Scud Kings goes back. Okay, he went back. But he zaps everything. And yeah, this is not the best start in this in this game right now. But at least we activate the tower there. We're gonna activate the tower, but he has already another giant. And I have to high switcher here. I have to Burbro too. And the good thing that it try tornadoes to ice wizard to his tower but ice wizard is still helped the good thing here that he doesn't have a really big spell he just has zap and tornado he doesn't have any fireball so he has to get the tower with the giant or with the sparky lock giant spark or mini pekka and then the who spray too i'm gonna let that go because it's not gonna cause a lot of damage and here we're gonna have to uh, get a really good combo i don't know if i'm gonna go here now i'm gonna Put defensive again. I'm gonna put my Scully King here in the back in the other lane. He's gonna use the mirror, but I'm gonna go into the Sparky. I'm gonna put my Grave Void right now first so that the Sparky can target the Scully King. And the Scully King is gonna be uh, alive. He puts that mini P.E.K.K.A there, but I'm gonna already Barbarrel and the Baby Dragon is helping too. I'm gonna tornado everything so the Baby Dragon can get some splash damage there. Okay, we, at, at least we defended the right lane. You just need to defend the left lane right now. He's gonna go in. And now to remember that he has the mirror, so he's gonna probably try to mirror yeah, the giant right now. I'm really gonna put my tombstone here. Tornado the giant to the other lane. So we don't get any problems from that giant getting to the tower. And here's just gonna barber the this the seer spirit. And right now I didn't have my tombstone, I didn't have elixir too. Now I have it. I have to put it the last second here and i see it's gonna tornado after tornado too oh, that, the giant almost got to the tower and that mega minion too okay so put that mini pack guy he's playing really really aggressive here i'm just gonna use my ability just to finish that mini pekka and here look at the, the left lane i'm already gonna put my attack here in the back put my baby dragon put my ice wizard here too my tombstone he mirrors that mega minion and after this attack, we're gonna try to probably attack on the left because yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Graveyard with the Barbell tanking. He doesn't have really good options right now for this Graveyard. He's gonna probably have to zap. Yeah, he has to zap there on defense. And right now we're in a really good situation right now. And he's gonna try to do the, the same the same play again. He's gonna try to mirror the, the giant. Yeah, he's gonna probably right now mirror. Yeah, mirror the giant. 
but we're running triple elixir so we cycle really fast here and yeah it's gonna sp the sparky there on the on the bridge but i have to be careful here because the giant is almost getting sour i'm gonna tombstone here but look the grave right there it's almost gonna get that sour got it to 1164 and that's you just have to poison and the match here that it was almost defeat but i got it into a win here in triple elixir that was the video guys i thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel give a like it's gonna help me a lot yeah see you in the next one